praying. I am excited to have you with us this morning, and I am thrilled to just pray uh, this morning. God dealt with me uh, regarding something this morning that I want to just challenge you all with, and that is, um, what peace are you trusting in? Again, what peace are you trusting in? And when we think about this, I want you to think about it in this way, is that Isaiah 26 and 3, we've heard this time after time after time, is that um, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed up on thee because he trusted, trusted in thee. I'll read it again. Isaiah 26 and 3, thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. And when God was dealing with me this morning, he was dealing with me regarding one thing. And he was like, Seth, what are you trusting in? And when I thought about it, sometimes I, I get into this, this moment of the question is, am I trusting in my wife, in my marriage? Am I holding her accountable to bring me peace? Shouldn't be. Uh, it should be on God. But yet we still get into these places of where we hold people accountable, where they're, they have no business trying to give you peace because only God can give peace. Second thing, are we trusting in the money that we have? Are we trusting in the things that God has allowed us to acquire? And then we find ourselves frustrated when those things begin to go away. Or lastly, are we trusting in the million dollar business that God helped us build? Are we taking that credit for ourselves, number one? Number two, and then are we focusing on when we obtain that wealth? Are we trusting in the peace of our balance sheet? Well, when we get into that aspect of it, when we begin to focus on those type of things, God then shows us that if we focus on those things, we will find our peace in those. We will find our peace in our marriage, our spouse. Our, our, our loved ones. We will find our peace in the money that we've acquired. We'll find our peace in our million dollar businesses. But only God can provide substantial peace. Come on, somebody. So that's what we're praying this morning is that we want to know this question, what peace are you trusting in? And if we're trusting in the right peace, God is going to be praised. Not only that, but he will keep us in perfect peace because our mind is stayed upon him. Let's go before the throne of grace. Father God, we just thank you. Hallelujah, God. We appreciate you, oh God, for life, health, and strength. God, we thank you for your grace and your mercy, oh God. We thank you for your peace. Hallelujah. And God, we thank you for this revelation of the day, oh God, of just knowing that we can be in perfect peace, but we must trust you, oh God. So God, we are turning our hearts and our mind towards you this morning, oh God, knowing that you've died upon the cross for us, knowing that you have sacrificed, oh God, to be uh, in that place or for us to be in that place with you, oh God. And so as we focus upon that this morning, God, I pray, hallelujah, that we will keep our minds stayed upon you. God, as we keep our minds stayed upon you, God, now we can worship you better. Now we can praise you better. Now we can say hallelujah because now we know that you are not going to allow us to fail. God, do it for your glory today. God, as you lead us and that you guide us even on this morning, God, I pray that our hearts are in the right place, oh God, that our focus is in the right place, oh God, that we will trust you, oh God, that we will have faith in you, oh God, that we will have purpose in you, oh God, that we will show you that you can trust us, oh God, because we're not going to lean on our own understanding, oh God, from this day forward, God, we're not going to place uh, things, we're not going to place people, we're not going to place blessings upon uh, above you, oh God, but we're going to worship you in spirit and in truth, God. We thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for this day, God. We thank you that we've had a wonderful week, oh God. We thank you that you've given us peace of mind, oh God. We thank you that you've given us strength, hallelujah, in our body, God. We thank you for all that you're doing in and within us, oh God. We, hallelujah, we thank you today, oh God, for just being 
peace, O oh God. Lord, peace that passeth all understanding. God, we worship you now, O oh God. Lord, we know that your peace is based upon your word, O oh God, and that you put your word above your name, O oh God. So that is telling us, O oh God, that we can stand upon your word. And God, as we stand upon your word, God, help us to recite, help us to learn, help us to study, to show ourselves approved, O oh God, in the word of God. So we can stand on the word, O oh God, so we can profess in faith, oh God, James 1 and 6, God, if we, we ask you for something, God, we can have peace about it because we know that our hearts are in the right place, Lord. God, we're, we're determining in our mind that we're not going to trust those secular things anymore. We're not going to trust in the things that we've obtained, God, but we're going to change our mindset, oh God, because we now know, oh God, Hallelujah. That we can't just say, Lord, keep us in perfect peace, O oh God, and allow us to be just wonderfully and creatively made, O oh God, and not do the things that you've called us to do, O oh God. Remind us at every turn, whenever we slip, O oh God, begin to trust in things that we should die. God, that you will give us peace if we trust in you, O oh God. Lord, I pray for your people today, O oh God, with a sincere heart of knowing that you can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think, but we must trust you, O oh God. Help us to trust you today, O oh God. Help us to have faith in you, O oh God, so we can have the assurance that the peace of God that, that passes all understanding is in you, O oh God. Lord, I know sometimes when we think about faith, O oh God, we, we think about the things that we cannot see, but the reality of it is, is, oh God, we, we need those beacon of light sometimes because we don't feel like you're with us. That's just the truth of the matter, oh God. So God, remind us that you are in control of everything, that you can do anything but fail us, oh God. But we have to trust in you, O oh God. We have to have faith in you, O oh God, and that we have to lean upon you, O oh God, that you can move in and through our situations, O oh God, that you are the all supreme, that you are the alpha, that you are the omega, O oh God. It's, it's not in what our ability of what we can do, O oh God, but it's what you can do. God, help us to trust you even the more this morning, oh God. Even as we trust you even the more, God, I pray that, that today we leave and we remember, hallelujah, that you are the all-sufficient one. God, that you won't allow us to fail if we trust you with our whole heart. God, that you will be with us every step of the way, even when those catastrophic things happen in and around us, oh God that you can still provide peace in the midst of the storm. Yes, Lord Jesus. That you can still do expediently on our situation, oh God. That we don't have to become impatient. God, as we look at things, oh God, as we look at our situation and we're trying to figure it out, oh God, Lord, help us not to get tired of waiting upon you, oh God. But help us to have a posture of prayer, oh God, a posture of trusting you, God, a posture of faith, in and through you, O oh God. And as we exercise that faith in you, O oh God, God, I pray that you will restore us, God, that you will give us everything that we need simply because our heart is in the right place, God. Lord, we know that you look on the inside, O oh God, instead of this outward appearance, O oh God. So I pray that we will find focus in and through you today. Yes, Lord Jesus. Have your way today, God. Have your way today, God. So we can thank you in the way that we need to thank you, oh God, because we don't have to lean upon our own abilities anymore. But God, we can trust you with our whole heart, oh God, and that you will provide the peace that's necessary to continue to push on. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, I've given you. <laughs> I've given you what God has given me today, and the reality of it is, is that it is important for us to find peace in God. Get, forgive us, O oh God, for trusting in our own abilities today, God. Forgive us, O oh God, for trusting in people today. Forgive us, Lord Jesus, for trusting in our abilities to make millions, God. But help us to trust you more. As we leave this place today, 
I pray that you will leave in renewed encouragement, that you will you will leave with renewed understanding that God wants to provide peace for you, but you got to trust him. Father God, we just thank you for today, God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your peace. God, help us to answer the question, what peace are we trusting in every day? God, and if it wavers to people, to things, to money, God, help us to refocus our mind, retool our hearts, oh God, so we can focus in and upon you, oh God. And as we renew our minds in faith and in trust and belief in you, oh God, keep your people in perfect peace. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, have a great week today. And I pray that we will meet at the same time next week. Be healthy, be whole, be blessed. It's my prayer for each of you.